So let us now see how exactly uh, the muscles, uh, which are really forming the common extensor tendon, they look like in the short axis, right? So what we are supposed to do for that, now the patient is sitting across the table, shoulder is in forward flexion and uh, forearm pronated and palm is just resting on the table. Over here, I'm gonna keep my probe in short axis with the aspect marker towards the little finger. So once I am doing that, right, the first thing which you should do is you identify the extensor digiti minimi, right? So what you are supposed to do, you hold your probe, okay, with one hand and with the other hand, right, you try to just move. Now, are you able to see a movement? Most probably. Yes. So that will be the extensor digiti minimi. So I'll just freeze it so that it will be easy for me to show you. So what we have seen here, that will be the extensor digiti minimi. And on this side, we will be having our extensor carpi ulnaris. And this will be the extensor digitorum. And what you are seeing here, something like this. So this is basically the tendinous portion of the ECRB, right? So you have your ECU, then you have your extensor digiti minimi, then is your extensor digitorum, and then you have the extensor carpi radialis brevis. Now from there, you can just follow them where they will be just taking its uh, origin from the common extensor tendon or you can follow them down up to the dorsal uh, compartments and then you can look their insertion. So this is an easy way to find out the different muscles which are uh, really forming the common extensor tendon. Thank you so much for watching.